Hey, 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 hey. Ow, ow, ow. Salute to my guy, Doug Melville, man. Make sure you go pick up Invisible Generals, man. It's in bookstores right now. Yes. The amazing true story of America's first black generals, Benjamin O. Davis Sr. and Jr., man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the latest release off my book imprint. Black Privilege Publishing via Simon & Schuster. So go get that. Right in time for Veterans Day. Yeah, shout to the uh, Breakfast Club producers. Uh, the, some of the women up here were putting me on to some of the things that they are into. Like one, you know, one, uh, Sydney, one of the producers talk, was talking about cats and how she has a cat and, and all of the stuff that she goes with cats. And then Sounds we, about right. <laughs> I think they all a bunch of future cat women if you ask me. You know what? You know what? Okay. You ask Uncle Charlotte. I've been telling them that for the longest. I'm glad they're finally embracing it. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. You know what? Forget it. Let's get to the rumors. Let's talk Lori Harvey. Rumor has it. Rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty patty. Right, I'm gossiping. Tell, tell this is the rumor report. I mean, I guess we on the breakfast club. This is where the tea spills, right? Right. Yes. Like, all right, now, Lori Harvey and Damson Idris, they're saying split after one year of dating. Yesterday, they put out a joint statement. They, see, uh, they said, uh, we are at a point in our lives where our individual paths require our full attention and dedication. We part ways, remaining friends with nothing but love and respect for each other and the time we share together. They so, put out a statement? Yes. Man, Lori must have liked him. Lori usually don't be putting out no statement after she dumped these hoes. Drop on the mouth for Lori Harvey, <laughs> damn it. Team Laurie over here, okay? <laughs> All right, y'all ain't learned nothing from reading Steve Harvey, Harvey's book, but Lori did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lori read Pop's book, okay? And Lori applying the rules to that book correctly. All right? Jesus. All right. Sorry for those fellas out there. Act man. like a lady, think like a nigga. Drop on a clues bomb for Lori Harvey. The new book from Lori Harvey coming soon. Okay? At least he got a press release. He did get a press, get a press release. release, yeah. Okay? Because I don't think Future didn't get one. Michael B. Jordan didn't Nothing. get one. Nothing. Nah. Lewis Hamilton didn't get one. I don't even know who that is. Oh, the, the race, race car, car driver? driver? Yeah. Oh, okay. None of them got one. Damn it. All right. Well, Timberland, uh, people were mad at Timberland. That's because he was doing an interview and he said that maybe Justin Timberlake should have put a muzzle on Britney Spears. The River is making headlines again uh, because of Britney's memoir. She said that she's going crazy, right? <laughs> I want to call some JT, but he got to put a muzzle on that girl. Right? <laughs> Well, people were upset about that. Britney Spears was super, super, uh, super, super upset about it. They said, uh, here's some of the comments. If you see Tim Land talking ish about Britney, it's because she refused to work with him in 2006 after he begged her to work with him. Somebody said, Timberland who? Somebody else said, Timberland is a waste of uh, sperm for being disrespectful to Britney Spears. Uh, the loser can go to hell. Well, man, Timbo wasn't talking, and that was not disrespectful. Timbo was from Virginia, man. That's how country folk talk. He was even you, you could you could hear it was it was kind of in jest. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, stop. But we know Timberland as a person, so we know I Timberland know, is not, off. not that type of person. But Timberland did apologize for you know for uh, hurting the fans' feelings and 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 taking a quote unquote shot at Britney. I apologize to the Britney fans, um, and her, and um, yes, you know about respecting women. Hell yeah, to all the Britney fans, I, you right, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Muzzle? You know, it's, it's just certain words that don't, like a dog. Like, she's not no dog. What the freak am I saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? It was just like, you know how you just got too comfortable. Just, 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 just rambling at the mouth. It's just, don't know what you're talking about. That's Justin Timberlake, you know. But at the end of the day, it's just, that's none of my business. Well, if you felt like you owed her an apology, there's nothing wrong with that either. Mm -hmm. You know, apologizing. But that is a, a moment where he was talking freely in front of people he probably wouldn't shouldn't have been talking freely in front of. Mm -hmm. That's all. Yep. Uh, and Tyler Perry, he was on The View talking about uh, a new oh, project man. that's coming out uh, that's dedicated to his late mother. Uh, he was talking to the host, Sarah Haynes, and, and started tearing up a little bit when talking about his mom. It was so well done. Yeah. Oh, so Thank you. Really, I'm very proud of them. They did a great yeah. job. Thank when you. I met Maxine through all of it, I yeah. didn't know her. Yeah. Um, but it shows just how much you endured as a child. You okay, wait a minute. That one took me. But you met. Oh, mm -hmm. that. that, that. Mm -hmm. yeah. You met my mother through it, man. That's wow. <laughs> you really got me there. I'm sorry. I need to get myself together. Hello. Okay. Hell, hell. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Here. 
Yeah. I'm sorry, we're talking about the, yes, yeah. yes. I just imagine a woman who's lived her entire life with so much pain, yeah. and she was always worried about everybody else. And I think I watched her get sick, I watched her get cancer, I watched her have all of these things, because her intention was, are you happy, are you okay? Yeah. She never put herself on the list. So to say that this documentary that Galila and Imani did about my life introduces her to the world, that, that, that moves me. Mm. Let me tell you something, man. Uh, Tyler Perry documentary, Maxine's Baby. Uh, I had the pleasure of seeing that documentary uh, some months ago, and it is very, 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 very powerful. Mm. One of the best documentaries I've seen in a long time. And, you know, it is, you know, th when you watch the documentary, you realize it is the greatest honor a son could give mm -hmm. his mother, you know, because he, he was God's gift to her, and she shared her gift with the world. It's a very inspiring documentary, man. Absolutely. Can't wait till people see it. It's called Maxine's Baby, The Tyler Perry Story. That's right. And when you watch it, man, there's so many gems in it because, you know, you're going to feel... You know, I feel like watching it, when I watched it, you know, men, we don't really unpack a lot of issues with our, with our fathers or father figures, but, you know, Tyler Perry does that a lot in this documentary. And I think, you know, unpacking, you know, our issues with our fathers, our father figures is imperative to our healing. All right. So, yeah, I can't wait till everybody gets to see uh, Maxine's baby. All right. And salute to Tyler Perry. Mm -hmm. And that is... I think it's coming on Amazon. Amazon? I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Okay. And that is your rumor report. All right. Now, Charlemagne, who are you giving that Donkey to? Man, four after the hour, okay? I need, who the hell am I giving Donkey to? So much going on this morning. Oh, man, a guy named Marcus <laughs> A. Stapleton. Right. He's actually from New Jersey, right, right over the bridge, man. He's 35 years old. Mm -hmm. And it is a lesson to be learned in this. I don't know if it's a lesson that'll ever be corrected because, you know, we're talking about systems here and these systems are working the way that they're designed to work, but we'll discuss. All right, we'll get into that next, so don't move. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.